Savannah boys were trying to make a late surge and relied on the big hitting Ajisuku to help them pad the score against Sweet Revenge, but he would perish trying to do just that, out for a top score of 23. The next best was Nishan Rahim, who added an invaluable 16 to take the score past the 100 mark. He would remain not out as the innings folded at 110 in 18 overs when Amirali was cleaned up. Luke Latifa 2 for 14, Harun Hossain 2 for 19, Joel Sitaram had 2 for 29 and Ronaldo Sami 2 for 28. Sweet Revenge though came out like gangbusters in pursuit of 111 for the victory and Jesse Roland was leading the charge. He was dealing in boundaries as the scorecard ticked over quite nicely, sending Sweet Revenge on their way. Things went along nicely for them as Savannah boys craved a breakthrough which was long in coming as Roland and Thomas soldiered on. The breakthrough though would eventually come when Thomas was caught behind off the bowling of Rishi Mana for 11 at 44 for 1. They would wobble a bit as things became tight in the middle passage when Mana took a second at 67 for 2. But Roland would sold your own. And he too would depart trying to keep up the tempo, gone for 42 off a nice running catch. But unlike Savannah Boy, Sweet Revenge got useful contributions throughout the innings, with Shane D'Souza and Joel Sitaram chipping in to keep things moving towards the target. The 100 came up in unusual fashion as they looked set to win, needing just 11 now. But they would squander a couple easy wickets to give Savannah Boy's hope as things got tight in terms of balls as they would lose two quick wickets with four runs needed off the last over. Then more drama when they lost another as Vassal was way short attempting a second run at 108 for 6, still three runs short. They would leave it up to the last ball with two needed and they got it in strange fashion when this one ended up at third man as Sweet Revenge won it in the last ball. They won it by four wickets to claim the North Zone T20 title over Savannah Bowl.